In this video, we will be analyzing the graph of this rational function. So, the first part we're asking about in behavior, as x is approaching negative infinity. So, this notation means x is getting very, very small. So, we're going to the left side of the graph where x is negative. And if we imagine what our graph will do as we continue to go to the left further and further and further. So what we notice is that the graph has this dashed line, which means that it's not going to cross that point. So it's going to come very, very, very close to that point, but it's never going to cross it. So our function is going to be approaching the value of three, where we see that horizontal line. Next, as X is approaching one, and this exponent lets us know what side we're looking on one from. So a negative in the exponent is, we're looking at the value of one on the left, a positive in the exponent, we're looking at the value on the right. So we have a vertical dashed line here at one, and you have the left side of the graph that we can look at, or the right side of the graph. So as X is approaching one on the left, means we're looking at one and what is happening to our graph on the left, so right beside it. What you should see is that the graph has an arrow pointing downwards, so this is approaching negative infinity. Next, we're going to do the same exact thing, but we're looking at the graph on the right. So here is where x is approaching 1, but we're looking at it from the right side. So looking at our graph right beside it on the right side, our arrow is pointing up. So it's approaching positive infinity. Now we're looking at the end behavior on the right. As X is approaching positive infinity, as X is getting very, very large, where is our graph going? So we're looking at this end of the graph. This is an end behavior question. And the graph is not going up, it's not going down. It appears to become constant, it's flat. So it's approaching this horizontal dashed line, which is at the value of three. So what you should notice is part A and part D, both of the values are the same. This is our end behavior. And your end behavior approaches what we're gonna talk about next, which is your asymptote. So your vertical asymptote is a vertical line that your graph gets very, very close to but does not cross. And it's always going to be X is equal to a number because it's a vertical line. And that is at X is equal to one. Next, we want to look at the equation of our horizontal asymptote. Horizontal lines, our graph occasionally does cross, but in this case, it does not. And it's also what your graph will do in end behavior. As X is approaching negative infinity and positive infinity, it's approaching this horizontal asymptote. Since it's a horizontal line, it's always Y is equal to a number, and that value is Y is equal to 3. When we're talking about intervals of increasing and decreasing, we always start from the left side of the graph and trace along to the right. So starting on the left side of our graph and we're tracing along, what you should see is our graph is decreasing on this section. And when we jump to the next section and we're drawing from left to right, you're also decreasing on this section. So is the graph increasing over at least one interval? No, it is not. And our next question, is the graph decreasing over at least one interval? Yes, it is. It's actually decreasing over that entire interval. Our domain, we're asking what X values are actually available? What X values can be used for the graph? Where does our graph exist for our X values? 
And what you should notice if we have X values here, 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 all along this graph, and then there is a stopping point because of the vertical asymptote. After we jump over the asymptote, we also have X values all along this graph as well. Domain, we're looking at the X values and we always go from left to right. So we have X values available on that entire region except for our vertical asymptote. So from negative infinity to our vertical asymptote one. We're using parentheses because we cannot be equal to one. Our graph never lands on one. It gets very, very close to it, but it does not ever land on it. We use the U for union and the graph picks back up after one, one to positive infinity. Our range, we're looking for the Y values. Where does our graph exist based on the Y axis? What Y values do we actually have and can't end up with for this graph? For domain, we go from left to right and we're looking at the X axis. For range, we go from bottom to top and we're looking for the Y values. So from the bottom of the graph, we have an arrow, meaning this continues to go down forever and ever and ever. And coming up, we have Y values, we have Y values, we have Y values, and then we have a stopping point, our horizontal asymptote. Our graph gets close to the horizontal asymptote, but it does not cross it. Our graph never touches it, it never reaches it. So from negative infinity to three, then after we jump over our horizontal asymptote, we start having Y values again for our graph. And from the bottom to the top, our graph continues to go on forever and ever and ever. So from three to positive infinity. So domain, X axis, left to right, range, Y axis, bottom to top. Intervals of increasing and decreasing and constant, you're always going from left to right. Vertical asymptote, dash vertical line that our graph cannot cross. These are also called your excluded values or restricted values in the very beginning of the course. Horizontal asymptote, horizontal line that your graph cannot cross. From your equation, you're looking at the degree of the numerator and the degree of the denominator to determine this. X approaches negative infinity and positive infinity. These are your end behaviors. What is your graph doing on the ends, on the left side and on the right side of your graph? As X is approaching one from the left and from the right, what is your graph doing by your vertical asymptote? And you're looking to the left, immediately right beside it, and to the right, immediately right beside it. 